Lena Headey is a British actress, producer, director, and elegant woman. She is known for her role as the cruel queen Cersei Lannister from Game of Thrones. But in addition to her work in the acclaimed series, she has experience acting in all kinds of film genres, as you will learn from this video. Lena Headey – How Cersei from Game of Thrones Lives and How Much She Earns Lena Catherine Hattie was born in Hamilton, Bermuda on October 3, 1973 to the family of Sue and John Hattie. Her father was a police officer from Yorkshire. Shortly before the birth of his daughter, John had been sent to Bermuda, where the family, including Lena's brother Tim, who was born later, lived for five years. After that, they returned to England and settled in Somerset. When Lena turned 11, her parents moved again, this time to Highburton, West Yorkshire. In her younger years, the girl was doing ballet and wasn't interested in acting. The future star was fond of fashion, thinking about a career as a stylist or hairdresser. However, at 17, as a student at Shelley College, she performed in a school production for the first time at the Royal National Theatre. It was then that a casting agent noticed her and invited her to audition for the film Waterland. To prepare for the role, Lena took riding lessons and did boxing. Soon, she got a minor role in the 1993 film The Remains of the Day. The film was nominated for an Oscar in eight categories at once. In the same year, Lena played in the dramas The Summer House and Century. She also actively made appearances on television shows like Screen 2, How We Used to Live, and Soldier Soldier. After that, her career began to really take on traction, and the actress started to get more and more prominent roles in major films. As a result, in 1994, Lena took part in the sports melodrama fair game, the action-adventure film MacGyver, Trail to Doomsday, and the Disney film The Jungle Book. Well, at least I told somebody something. Oh my goodness, there's a spider monkey with a mustache. <laughs> Where? He's got a white hat on and a linen suit. <laughs> <laughs> On the set of the latter, she met Jason Fleming, the star of Guy Ritchie's films Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, and Snatch. They had a relationship that lasted nine years. In the mid-90s, the actress starred in two TV series, Loved Up and Band of Gold, and the films The Grotesque and Devil's Advocate, after which she joined the cast of the multi-part film Bally Kiss Angel. In 1997, our heroine appeared in the romantic drama Miss Dalloway, the thriller face, the TV series Kavanaugh QC, The Hunger, and Gold. Then, she starred in the romantic comedy The Man with Rain in His Shoes and the fantasy miniseries Merlin. In 1999, the drama Own Again was released, and in 2000, fans of the actress saw her in the Norwegian-British film Aberdeen. Film critics noticed Lena's efforts in one of the main roles and highly appreciated them. She was recognized as the best actress at the Brussels European Film Festival in 2001. Lena also starred in the psychological drama with Kate Hudson Gossip, the short film Inside Out, and the romantic comedy Rope Walk. In 2001, Lena played a policeman in the crime comedy The Parole Officer. The film, which made over $4.1 million in the UK despite its shortcomings, was quite warmly received by both the audience and critics. Then Lena Headey played a lesbian artist in the detective drama Possession, and her partners on set were Gwyneth Paltrow and Aaron Eckhart in the thriller Ripley's Game based on the novel of the same name by American writer Patricia Highsmith. Our heroine played the wife of the character dying of leukemia. She also appeared in the biographical television film The Gathering Storm and the film Anna Zopta. In 2003, Lena starred in the comedy The Actors, and in the following year, she acted in the successful gangster miniseries The Long Firm. As for her personal life in the 2000s, the actress was dating actor Jeremy Flynn. Their eventual parting was difficult, and for a long time, the former lovers didn't talk. Despite her close relationship failing, that didn't stop Lena from shining in her professional field. This was thanks to her memorable role in Terry Gilliam's fantasy film The Brothers Grimm. There she played the daughter of a lumberjack who the evil queen turned into a werewolf. According to the script, Lena had to skin a rabbit, but being an ardent animal rights activist and experienced vegetarian, the actress convinced the director not to do this and took the animal home. You said the animals don't come here. The animals don't drink from a spring. <laughs> Man! <laughs>
At the same time, Lena, along with Martin Freeman and Jodie May, starred in a short film, Round About Five, and then appeared in the horror movie, The Cave, and the rom-com, Imagine Me and You. In 2007, the film 300 was released. In this Zack Snyder's epic war movie, Lena played Queen Gorgo. The film received mixed reviews but was a box office success. Our heroine's participation in this project brought a new wave of universal love. Don't be coy or stupid, Persian. You can afford neither in Sparta. What makes this woman think she can speak among men? Because only Spartan women give birth to real men. At the same time, Lena appeared in the role of Miss Dickinson in the sixth part of a comedy film series called St. Trinian's and played in the action movie The Contractor. In May 2007, Lena married musician Peter Paul Lowren. As the tabloids wrote, they met a year earlier at a wedding of common friends. The handsome, red-haired Irish musician made the actress fall in love at first sight. According to rumors, before meeting her future husband, Lena had already gone through several relationships with colleagues. In 2008, she starred in a biographical film about a fighter pilot during the First World War, The Red Baron. Lena also appeared in the horror movie The Broken and the drama Whore. In addition, the actress played Sarah Connor in the television spin-off of the popular franchise Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles. The show had two seasons, and for this project, our heroine was nominated twice for the Saturn Award as Best Television Actress. Do it! Kill me! Nothing matters anymore! Kill me! You're right. Nothing matters anymore. Then, Lena played in the slasher movie Laid to Rest, appeared in the thriller Telltale, and voiced Black Widow and Mystic in the animated series The Superhero Squad Show. Also, four female characters in the English version of the computer game Risen speak in her voice. In 2010, she played a small role in the crime comedy Pete Smalls is Dead, and on March 31st, the actress's family welcomed a son. They named the boy Wiley. However, Lena's joy didn't last long. Soon it was replaced by a severe postpartum depression, which probably was the reason for her divorce the next year. By the way, despite being pregnant, she acted in the first season of Game of Thrones. To hide it, the crew dressed her in the flowing dresses and used doubles for sex scenes. The premiere of the fantasy series, based on the series of books by George Martin, A Song of Ice and Fire, took place on April 17, 2011 on HBO. Hetty got the role of the heiress of a powerful dynasty, Cersei Lannister. She got the role per the suggestion of her friend Peter Dinklage, who hinted to the casting producers to pay attention to Lena. Now, many viewers associate Lena with Cersei, a cold-blooded queen who is ready to betray and kill. In different seasons, Lena changed her appearance to match the developing events, which reflected the character's evolution in the story. The the episode with the Naked Queen deserves special attention, when a representative of the nobility is forced to walk disgraced and naked around the city. For that scene, Lena was replaced by a body double. The actress claims she doesn't hesitate to show her naked body because she has done so before. But this time she didn't, because she was afraid she wouldn't properly act out the scene. It was important for her to convey the full range of Cersei's feelings and not be distracted by other things. She also considered that step too rash because she had children then. Among other unpleasant working moments, it is worth noting the appearance of Lena's ex-boyfriend Jeremy Flynn, who plays the role of Braun in Game of Thrones. They broke up, to put it mildly, on a bad note, and this fact greatly influenced the filming process. To avoid conflict situations on the film site, the actors had a clause in the contract stating that they couldn't appear in the same room. Together, they shot only one scene in which their characters don't interact. The image of the ruthless queen, performed by Hetty, has won critical acclaim. She became a nominee for the Scream Award in 2011 for the best female role in the fantasy genre. She also received the Emmy Awards in 2014, 15, 16, 18, and 19, and was nominated for Golden Globe in 2017 in the category Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. As for the payouts of the leading actors, their amounts differ in many sources. So, according to some reports in Season 4, Lena Hetty earned $160,000 per episode, and in the seventh season, $500,000. According to other information, the actress already received this amount in the fifth season, and in the last two, the payout was $1.1 million per episode. In total, Hetty received between $10 million and $30 million before taxes for her work. Order your man to step aside or there will be violence. I choose violence. After that, Lena appeared as a guest star in an episode of White Collar as the leader of a drug dealer gang and the main villain in the fantastic 3D action movie Dread in 2012. At the same time, she voiced Callista in the video game Dishonored, and in the summer, filed for divorce, which was finalized only in December 2013. 
During the divorce, the actress made headlines. They reported that she was in a difficult financial situation and had less than $5 in her bank account. This was due to both a long and bitter divorce process and a high-profile lawsuit for custody of her son, which her ex-husband eventually lost. In the same year, 2013, Hetty played the main role in the low-budget horror film The Purge. Then, she starred in the fantasy movie The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, and Mariah Mundy and the Midas Box. In the meantime, Hetty reprised her role as Queen Gorgo in 2014, film 300 Rise of an Empire. Like the first part, it received mixed reviews but was a commercial success. In the same year, she starred in the biographical musical drama Low Down and voiced one of the characters of the animated series Uncle Grandpa and her heroine from Game of Thrones in the adventure video game of the same name. In 2015, Lena played in the political thriller Zipper, took part in the documentary Unity, which talks about the development of humanity, and voiced a character in the animated series Danger Mouse. It is known that the actress supports the LGBT rights organization No Hate. In April 2015, she appeared in a t-shirt designed by them which contributed to the successful merch sales for the charity company. Then, rumors about her personal life appeared in the media again. This time, the journalist stated that she was having an affair with her colleague Pedro Pascal, who also plays the worst villain in the series, Prince Oberyn Martel. It was even rumored that she was expecting a child from him. The actress was really pregnant, but Pascal had nothing to do with it. In fact, she was having a romantic relationship with director and childhood friend Dan Caden, and on July 10, Lena became a mom for the second time, giving birth to a daughter named Teddy. The couple was engaged, but looking ahead, it's worth noting that they never got married. So in 2019, the stars announced their breakup, although some sources say that they were married. In 2016, Teddy appeared in the comedy thriller Pride and Prejudice and Zombies and took part in the dubbing of the animated fantasy film Kingsglaive Final Fantasy XV. In 2017, the actress starred in the crime thriller Thumper, appeared in the music video for the British rock band Kasabian, and voiced a Mercedes commercial and several characters in the animated series Troll Hunters Tales of Arcadia. Then she became the narrator for the video in honor of World Alzheimer's Day, lent her voice to Big Mama, a character from the American cartoon series Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, starred in the comedy series Sally Forever, and appeared in the comedy Walk Like a Panther, but wasn't mentioned in the credits. In addition, Lena supported the movement Me Too, which unfolded around the sexual harassment scandal of producer Harvey Weinstein and spoke out about a similar incident on her social media. In 2019, she played in the psychological drama The Flood and acted as an executive producer of the project. Also in the same year, a film about the family of a former wrestler, Fighting With My Family, was released with her participation. I met Rick. I was thinking of killing myself. Pills? I was uh, homeless. Abused, living on the street, you know. Yep. I myself had done uh, eight years in prison. Prison. <clears throat> in addition, Hetty became the director and screenwriter of the short film The Trap, which was nominated for a BAFTA award and voiced in the animated series Infinity Train and the puppet web series The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. And she also directed the music video of the British singer Freya Ridings for the song You Mean the World to Me. In 2020, information appeared on the web that our heroine was dating American actor Mark Menchaca and spent the year living with her children in Great Britain. The actress, like many other celebrities, supported the Black Lives Matter movement on social networks. However, as far as we know, she did not participate in peaceful protests. In addition, she was engaged in charity work, helping many organizations. During this period, Lena participated in the voice acting of the animated series Wizards and continued her directorial work, working on a music video Miracle for French musician Mattia. Meanwhile, in the big cinema, things aren't too rosy for Hetty. The action films of 2021 Twist and Gunpowder Milkshake had lukewarm reception and a low audience rating. Nowadays, she mostly voice acts and produces various projects. Several characters of the animated series about superheroes, masters of the universe, Revelation, and a character from the video game The Artful Escape speak in her voice. In 2022, the cartoon DC League of Super Pets was released, and the actress took part in dubbing. In addition, fans saw her in the thriller Nine Bullets. They're professional killers. There'll be no trace that they killed your family. Living is your win, okay? Mine is to finish my book and catch a cruise. It was also reported that the actress was supposed to appear in the certain role in the new Marvel movie Thor Love and Thunder, 
but her scenes were cut from the final version. This happened because of the scandal between Lena and the British agency Troika, which had helped to get her into the blockbuster. The former producers filed a lawsuit for $1.5 million against Lena because the actress hadn't paid them the required percentage of her royalties. In October, our heroine celebrated a joyful event. She married her beloved Mark. The ceremony took place in Apulia, Italy, and not only relatives and friends attended the celebration, but also the celebrity friends of the newlyweds, including colleagues from Game of Thrones. As for work, the miniseries White House Plumbers is currently in the post-production stage. The filming of the fantasy series Beacon 23 is also underway, where the star of Game of Thrones will play a main role and act as an executive producer. An animated series New Gen is also in the works, and Lena will also try herself at directing a psychological thriller Violet. The team of the future horror movie Svalta, including our heroine, is also preparing to begin the filming process. In her free time away from filming, the actress does sports, preferring yoga and boxing. She likes to watch musicals and horror movies. She has a lot of dogs, and her love for animals dates back to her childhood, despite an unpleasant episode with a pet back then. As a little girl, Lena decided to get in a hot jacuzzi with her goldfish, uh, which turned into a tragedy. The pet got cooked. According to the latest drama, her fortune totals 12 million. Lena's been living in Los Angeles for many years. For her first marriage, she bought a house with an area of 2,500 square feet for 1.8 million. The one story, three bedroom house has an open floor plan, high vaulted ceilings with protruding beams, and panoramic windows. Lena decorated her son's bedroom herself, choosing the underwater theme. The house, located on a hill, is surrounded by trees to ensure privacy and has a small paved backyard. Having filed for divorce after five years of marriage, the actress put the property up for sale. Newspapers wrote that she was a victim of the housing market crisis. She earned $1.34 million for the house, losing more than $450,000. The actress didn't hide her luxurious mansion in San Fernando Valley, California. A typical Snow White Hollywood villa surrounded by tropical plants was renovated according to the actress's taste. It turned out to be a bright, cozy, and stylish two-story house. Lena says that her goal was to create a house where the family and guests would feel comfortable, and according to the actress, she pulled it off perfectly. In 2017, the media reported that the mansion had been put up for sale for $2 million, and in 2020, it was sold for $1.9 million. It is also known that Lena's car collection includes an Audi Q5, the cost of which is $43.5 thousand, a Jeep Grand Cherokee SUV for $45 thousand, and a luxury Porsche Cayenne worth about $90 thousand. In an interview, Lena Hetty admitted that she was not very happy with how her heroine from Game of Thrones died. What kind of fate would you have Cersei Lannister meet? If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.